The real after-tax interest rate refers to the net return an investor receives on an investment after adjusting for both inflation and taxes. This measure provides a more accurate assessment of the actual purchasing power gained or lost on an investment when considering the impact of both inflation and applicable taxes. We'll talk about these two formulas shown here after I read the question. So the scenario goes like this. Melanie can invest her money in a GIC account at 4.5% annually. However, she must pay taxes on her earnings at a rate of 45%. And the expected inflation rate that year is 2.1%. What is her real after-tax return? Now, in a previous video, we looked at the real rate of a return, which is the impact inflation has on one's return in an investment. And for that, we used this formula right here, where I represented the interest we expect to earn, R represented the inflation rate. And by substituting those two values into this formula, we got the actual or real interest rate for that situation. The formula underneath talks about what we do when there is an expected tax on the interest rate. And in our situation, we have both the tax and the inflation that we have to worry about. So to find the formula that we need for this scenario, what I will do is I'll begin with I sub real, which is that top formula. And in place of I, I'll replace it with that expression. So I have I multiplied to one take away capital T, which represents the expected taxes, take away R, which is our inflation rate, over one plus R. Use this formula whenever you need the real after tax interest rate. And with that being said, we have everything we need to answer this question. In place of T, this capital T right here, I'll substitute it with 0.45. In place of R, it will be substituted with 0.021. And in place of little i, we'll have this value, which is 0.045. Notice that all of these values are the number divided by 100%. And that's how we get those decimal equivalents. And so substituting these into that formula, we have i sub real is equal to 0.045 multiplied to 1 take away 0.45, close parentheses. And we subtract that by the inflation rate, which is 0.021, all divided by 1 plus 0.021. And so now turning on our calculator, 0.045 multiply to 1, take away 0 0.45, take away 0 0.021. That outputs to that value, which we now divide by the denominator expression, which is 1 plus 0 0.021. Now make sure that you place this entire expression in parentheses when you do use your calculator, just as I've done there. And we end up with a value that is written in scientific notation. So when we multiply this value now by 100%, it will start to make more sense. So when we multiply by 100%, we end up with 0.367% as the actual real after-tax return rate. And because this percentage is positive, it means that your money is growing by roughly 0.367% by placing it into this account. If this number were negative, it would mean your purchasing power is decreasing considering the current tax and inflation rates. If you have any further questions as to how these formulas are derived, feel free to use the comments section below. And with that, thank you so much for watching.